for throwing the ball over the overpass, and the most for balancing the ball on the overpass before the final whistle. Four high schools compete at a time, with a pair as red and a pair as blue. I do this program because it is somewhere that I can learn things I've never learned, and I can take it further than high school and into my college career. Katie and her teammates created the robot here that is balancing the ball on the course's overpass. They won their Friday afternoon match. All teams are assigned mentors, oftentimes engineers who work full-time jobs. This team from a different high school used online collaboration software to trade ideas and drawings. Our team has, or is currently using Winchell, um, MathCAD, and ProE. Um, Winchell has been great for us. We've been able to upload all of our projects all of our work we've done, all our business plans, our CAD drawings, all up onto Windchill. And so people at home can pull up That's the things software. and make adjustments to them, put them back, and all that good stuff. James is one of 30 teammates on Rosie Robotics. This is the team's design in the online collaboration software. But the use of the software isn't just limited to them. PTC, the developers of Windchill, say that 20% of teams across the competition use the software to share designs. Rosie Robotics placed in the top half of the regional competition and will be continuing on to the national championship. First represents for inspiration and recognition of science and technology and was founded by Segway inventor Dean Kamen in 1989. So we think we should be celebrating so many heroes of technology, the heroes of science, and we bring those heroes here. Some of the judges that we have are luminaries in their own right. Steve Wozniak, co-founder of Apple Computer. Bob Metcalf, the inventor of the Ethernet. Colin Engel, CEO of iRobots. So we bring some really great folks that judge these kids, and these kids look up to that, and they get excited that they get cheered on by them, they get excited that the public comes and cheers them on, just as it does any other sport event. skills like being able to move from a two-dimensional world to a three-dimensional world and vice versa are really important in mathematics? Um, well, the, in terms of the 2D to 3D world, it's, uh, it, it's, it's absolutely critical. And there, there's a, obvious, there's still um, some 2D in the world today, uh, flat, 2D drawings, but less and less and less every day. And I and as I referred back earlier, that everything that we do, if you saw the design on that computer in that quick little uh, video, it's all driven from mathematics. The 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 uh, the, the dimensions that are used, you know, the the, the dimensions that define the product. Um, are geometric shapes the, the the concepts behind designing a product and designing um, to those dimensions are math concepts and uh, if you talk to the top engineers in the world when I sit down with uh, the engineers at Lockheed Martin or at Bombardier their notebooks are full I mean just chock full of math calculations these are 50-year-old men and women designing uh, unbelievably complex products, and what they're always going back to are their math calculation books that they've created throughout their careers. And so everything that is driven from those math calculations originally. Sure. Any questions, it? guys? Anybody? Don't be shy. Thanks for your attention. Thank you very much.